moment, Jack's coping with his autism. He may look like a typical schoolboy, but he's on antidepressants and tablets to help him sleep. Without this and support from his mum, Claire, he wouldn't be able to go to school. When he was very young as a baby, he'd be sitting in his baby bouncer. He'd be rocking forward or backwards so violently with his hands open, flapping as well. Happy as anything, but just bouncing so violently that he broke three baby chairs. Oh, Autism's a bit of a minefield for parents of children like Jack. Everyone on the spectrum shares certain difficulties, but their condition affects them in many different ways. What might help for one might not help for another, but when your child is standing up in the cot, head banging the wall, you're at a loss because there's no one to help you. Jack, who's this? Oh, this is Teddy. He's my really good friend. Jack's Teddy helps him to communicate. A trick his mum learnt along the way while she struggled to get him diagnosed. She was finally told her son had autism at the age of five. This delay in diagnosis is something the Royal College of GPs recognises as a problem. To make doctors more aware of the condition, it's launched a three-year training programme. We ought to be able to spot autism. But it is so complex and so difficult. A lot of it is about the GP being just thinking about it, thinking about it as a possible diagnosis. Would you go as far to say that people with autism and their families are being failed by the system? I would. If we treated people in wheelchairs, like yourself, the way we treat people with autism would be in court. Because we're not making the reasonable adjustments and we're not uh, managing things as well as we should. One in 100 people have autism in the UK and charities say more needs to be done to support those with the condition. Some will need a lifetime of specialist support, but others, like Jack, may be able to lead independent lives. How do you feel about having autism? Uh, well, I actually sometimes don't even know I have autism. Sometimes I just don't think about it. I'm off in my own world. It becomes very, very scary and you do feel very alone and I've, there must be lots of parents out there who are exactly the same. Okay. It's so frustrating because, yes, fine, now you've now labelled my child. Now what? You must be able to help me somehow and there isn't. There's nothing. <laughs>